long before the internet or even the telephone. It was the railroads that helped bind the nation together. But just like those other technologies, there was a price to be paid. On display at the California Historical Society's museum is the Transcontinental Railroad's final golden spike, a symbol of the taming of the West and the beginning of what has been called the American century. But assistant curator Natalie Pololio says this exhibit takes a look at how the railroad fractured the country socially and culturally. And I mean that in terms of their exploitation of immigrant labor, the displacement of indigenous tribes along the lines, and then also their contributions to corruption, corporate corruption. Images of the opulent lifestyles of the wealthy railroad barons are contrasted by pictures of Chinese laborers who did the backbreaking work to make that possible. So I think this is also an interesting period in, in the post-Civil War era of Americans sort of learning what corporate culture is and learning to be a little bit more wary and cynical of its impact. The other half of the exhibit examines the impact of the railroad on the environment. Photographer Mark Rudell captured the remnants of the original path of the transcontinental railroad line. The images of the scarred landscape are stark and haunting and show the effects of unbridled technology on the natural world. Well, I think it's meant to make you look carefully and to, to scrutinize the details and to think very deeply about what technology means to us and how it changes our lives, and sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. Whether in nature or the human landscape, the exhibits question the value of progress when it comes without regard to consequences. The railroads were a technology that changed this country, but how you felt about it may depend on whether you were hollowing out a mountain with a shovel or driving a golden spike. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5.